Hey, Roo, I reckon one of the most exciting jobs in Australian football, Australian sport, would be to be the coach of the Collingwood Football Club. But I reckon it comes with a fair bit of drama as well. Well, there's a lot of pressure. There's no doubt about that. Very scrutinised club, but a great gig to get. And uh, just want to welcome to the show the new coach of Collingwood, Craig McCray. Congratulations. Yes, yes good morning, guys. Uh, morning. When you wake on. up as early as today, surely you're sort of shaking your head, getting in the shower, going, am I really the coach <laughs> of the Collingwood Football Club? Gee, this has progressed yeah. quickly. Yeah, absolutely. I slept like a baby up at two, four, and six. It was, uh, yeah, I just wake up in the, in the middle of the night thinking, oh, God, this is real. And, and, it, and it's, it has been quite surreal. It's overwhelming in terms of the um, the support that I've got off my phone. My phone's gone hot. And, um, yeah, I really appreciate it. all these people who sent me messages, but it, it, it certainly feels a bit overwhelming at the minute. Now, Craig, I've never got to know you personally, but from what I see, I, I don't know if I'm right here or not, but you're not a the the loud, outgoing, self promoting type. You're not you're not one of those massive names of of you know when I say massive names, you're not Kevin Sheedy. You're not that type of coach. Um, so therefore, taking on this juggernaut, this big big club of Collingwood uh, is an interesting choice. So what was it about Collingwood? Because there are, there were other jobs up for grabs as well. Yeah, you're right. I don't have a grandstand named Nasty like Rue does. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey? I like him. You might have in a few years if you win a flag at Collingwood. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, it, it, it's certainly something that um, I've been aspiring to for a while now. And, and uh, you know, working working hard behind the scenes to get this resume that I, I felt could be bulletproof to get to a tacker job like this. And, when when Collingwood rang, it certainly um, yeah, my ears pricked, and, and and then I looked at the brief. I thought, well, this is, this suits everything that I am. You know, like I've got great experience. I've coached my own team. I've had good success um, in multiple different um, avenues, including NRL working for the Storm for six years. So, right. um, and I just uh, I just felt right. I, I look, I'm an ambitious guy. I just want to continue to get better. And this is a big challenge, as I said. But geez, it's highly rewarding. Is this the first head coaching role job you've gone for? Well, Rue, you know you rang me about one not long ago. Oh, <laughs> yes. Very good answer. Yeah, but you said no. Very good <laughs> answer. But you said no, so that doesn't mean it's your first deal, though, does it? <laughs> yeah, no, it's it, like certainly, um, yeah, to be honest, when you did call Rue, I, it, oh, I, just wasn't, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready in that, in that space. And, uh, right. So we're saying <laughs> that's a yes. I've here, haven't I? No, I that's all right. We're saying that's a yes, though, or not? Oh look! At this is the first one I've really had a go. A well, long time ago, I was um, I was interested in uh, had some interest in the, in the Gold Coast when they first right. established myself, and I was in the last three of that. That was with Brad Scott and then then Guy McKenna. So that was a long time okay. ago, but um, a lot of water on the bridge since then. The so reason this, this I... is fantastic because you know, Craig, can I just say last week, Rue, it's like working with a poker player. I've said to him, oh, Craig McCray, what do you know about him? He goes, no, no, not much. No, not, <laughs> no, not, not a lot. No. Well, the reason why I did ring was because I heard that you used to organise the footy trips. I thought if we could get a coach that had a bit, little bit of that in him in 2021, we might get the balance better. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time of my life. There's a lot of times to celebrate it. Funny enough, I'd organise those things because we, we used to have a mad Monday. And I, I didn't drink all year. And, so I enjoyed having a drink at the end of the season, and mm. and uh, we had a few rough nuts that kept getting us kicked out of all the pubs. I said, "Let's stop here, some organise something so we can lock us in for a while." You threw me under the bus. Do not throw Martin Pike under the bus. <laughs> he, might be, he might be listening right now. Now, Colin would have had the, a few issues. I've had a tough period. Board chairman fighting, uh, salary cap, players leaving the club, bit of racism yeah. issues. You're coming in at a tough time, but it's could be looked at the perfect time to unite the footy club and get them back on track and take them back up into the finals. Yeah, as I said to the playing group yesterday, like, and there's been a lot of change happening already, uh, um, like you said, of all those things. And I said to the playing group yesterday, well, my appointment represents change, which presents opportunity and possibility. So, um, you know, a fresh start and, and a step forward. We're, we're ideally looking, looking more forward than back, but all the things you said are, re- are real. Um, can I ask you about your, your background? You've played under Lee Matthews in the three flags you won. You've been with Damien Hardwick. You've been with Clarkson. You've been with the absolute best. So, you know, a lot of great influences there. Do you, it's an obvious question, but you take a bit from all of them, I presume. Yeah, it was a, a key part of my um, key part of my presentation was I just put a, a visual up of all the coaches I'd worked with. And, yep. um, you know, even growing up in Adelaide, I, I played my first senior game at Glenelg under, under Choco Williams, yep. you know, one of yep. the greats. And, um I got drafted from Glenelg and shout out to my mum still down at Sullivan's Beach. She's probably listening now. Um, <laughs> she actually sold her house. She got a record price for her house um, this yeah. week. She's hey, retired. Booming, my right? son, Collingwood yeah. coach, and the price just yeah. went over. <laughs> I mean, all mums and dads. Hey, Craig mums. McCray's mum's yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> good. Yeah, no, you're right. I have learned a lot of those, and I'll use uh, every bit of it in this experience. When are you going to get Collingwood back in the finals again? When? How far away are you? Well, I said yesterday we'll, we'll get as good as we can, as quick as we can, yeah. in the right way, and, and, and that's real. Um, yeah, it's going to be a challenge. We're seven eighth. You don't fluke being bottom, and that's real too. So we, 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 <laughs> I know we've got a lot of work. That. Don't worry. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited for the for the opportunity, and, and really looking forward to getting into it. All the best, Thanks, mate. Guys. Massive job, huge job for you. Congratulations, and uh, we'd love to see you do really well. Great South Australian, uh, yep. great player, and now hopefully going to be a great coach of a massive football club. All the best, mate. We're right behind you. Yeah, appreciate appreciate the time, mate. Cheers. All the well best. done.